Hello everybody, I'm back, I'm here in my little room doing a little sit down chatty video like the olden times. If you are an oldie but goldie, hello my friend, this video is for you. If you are new and you've somehow stumbled across this dinosaur of a channel, hello, I'm Louise Pentland. Uh, I make videos about motherhood and fashion um, and chit chats and I have been here since the dawn of time, it feels like. Um, <laughs> welcome, welcome, come one, come all. So this video is going to be a big catch up of a lot of things. I feel like we haven't talked in a long time. Um, there is a reason for that and I will share that with you um, later on in the video but I want to do the fun stuff first. The first thing I want to talk about though is by far the most fun and that is my handbag collection. First things first, I'm the realist, but second thing second, thank you so much for all the support on the summer collection. I couldn't believe it. So many of you wrote such lovely comments or shared it with your friends or even bought one for yourself or a friend or a family member. Um, when they first went out, we had a number in our mind that we thought um, that would order and <laughs> it far exceeded that. I was like, whoa, whoa, we need to have some more made. They're all made over in Italy, in Florence, so it takes a little time to have them made, so thank you so much for your patience if you waited for one. Um, but yeah, I was like, I mean, I like them, um, but I thought maybe I'm a bit niche, that I like really bright coloured heart-shaped handbags, uh, but no. <laughs> Turns out I'm not that niche, you like them too, so that is amazing. Um, and I really enjoyed seeing all your photos with them. Um, and I actually went, um, I had a day where I went to LRM and I helped customize some of them, so perhaps yours was customized by me. Um, but yeah, so that was really great. And following on from that, we are doing some autumn colors. So if you are one of those people that really likes the more toned down colors rather than like the pops of yellow and pink and coral, you're gonna be really excited. I've put a post on Instagram, but I always think it's quite nice to see like unfiltered videos of things. So this is the first one. This is the black handbag, the black heart. Oh, she's so gorgeous. Um, they all come with two straps. So you can either have a thicker strap, which is this one here. I really like the gold hardware on that. Or you can have a slimmer strap. The one I have to hand is red which I think says a lot about what's coming next. So this is the red leather strap. And again, it's all gold hardware on all of the bags. I absolutely love that. I tend to wear more gold than I wear silver. So um, I really love that. And of course they do the embossed personalization and you can have whatever you want on there. They don't all come with LP on, that would be weird. Um, but yes, this is the black one. We also have a navy one, and I think navy is such an underrated, beautiful colour. I think it's very sophisticated and very demure, especially with the gold hardware on it. And again, you can have the thicker strap or it comes with the thinner strap as well. So you can kind of mix and match. I actually think, and tell me what you think below, I think that the thick strap is really nice for the daytime. I think it gives it a more like casual vibe if you will and then I think the slimmer strap oh that's really hard to say slimmer strap um it gives it a really nice dressy look so it's nice for evenings or date night um or anything like that I'm really excited to show you this next colour because when I shared a really tiny sample of it on my insta stories a lot of you messaged and said that you really liked this um which I was a bit surprised by actually because I again really like it but I like quite bold colours but it's this, it's this really gorgeous mauvey purpley colour, which I think is a lovely colour for autumn and winter. And it's also one of those colours that I think goes well into like January, February, March time. Um, I just really like this such a lot. Again, the gold hardware and again, um, thick strap and thin strap and even the little details on it, like a little diamondy detail. Can you see that there? Gosh, how cute. I like that such a lot. Um, so I feel like this is one of the ones that I'm going to get a lot of wear out of. But I've just realised in shot, you can see the red one. <laughs> this is the one. This is the one I've been waiting for. This is what started it all. I wanted a red heart-shaped handbag. And here she is. Ignore this. 
um, or don't ignore it. I actually bought this, my friend bought this for me in a charity shop. We picked it up for, it says four pounds on here, but I know she only had to pay three pounds because she bought such a lot of scarves and things. Let me just take this off. I was just playing with it because I thought that that looked really nice and Christmassy. Um, but unfortunately you won't all get a charity shop <laughs> scarf with it. You might not want one, um, but look at this. Isn't she just beautiful? In the picture on Instagram, I have teamed this with a green velvet dress. I just think this is the most Christmassy bag I have ever seen. Um, I'm going to wear this for the rest of this month and November and December. And if I'm honest, I'm going to wear it the other months too because I just think it's so beautiful. Such a nice little conversation starter. Um, I also think this is a nice gift for Valentine's Day. I know I'm getting really ahead of myself. I don't know if they'll be any left by then. So I'm worried that the team at LRM are like, stop saying about all these things in the future. Just focus on the now. Um, but I just think this is so lovely. Um, yes, I'm going to stop talking too much about the red handbag because there are three other colours. But... I mean, this is clearly my favourite one. You might remember with the summer collection that we did the minis um, in case you wanted a smaller bag or if you wanted to buy one for a child in your life. We haven't done that with this collection. We felt like the minis worked really well with those bright, playful colours, but we have done the little coin purses again. And the more I thought about it, the more I thought that I would be happy for my children to have one of these, because I think they're really cute, like a little D or a P on there, and they have the really cute little gold hardware, the little diamonds or bows. Or if you just want one to go, let me find the navy one. Um, if you want one to match your bag, you can have a little matching set. How cute is that? Or if you wanted to give one as a gift, these make nice gifts. I mean, these make really nice gifts, but if you just want something a little bit smaller, that is lovely because you can personalize them as well. And I think personalized gifts are just so nice. You know how I feel about something monogrammed. I just love it. Just like in the summer as well, we have toiletry bags. So we have a large black and a smaller black. And then we also have a large red and a smaller red. Um, I really like these. I use my mint ones every single day. Oh my goodness, I've got too much loveliness all over here. Um, but I use these every day. I really love them. They're such nice quality. And what I like about the large ones, oh, the small ones have it as well. well that's good. I really, I was gonna say, what I like about the large ones is that they have little feet. So if you are putting it by the side of your sink, and for mine it's always splashed, I always get stuff all over it, I don't want to put like a really nice leather bottom on it, um, and the feet kind of protect it. And I was going to say, that's what I like about the large one, but these smaller ones have it as well, so I've just pleased myself there. <laughs> feel a bit like ah, a bit buzzy from that now um i will link that below for you if you are thinking about purchasing one the link will be there waiting for you and the first 50 customers will get a free heart-shaped key ring in the summer drop we did all these heart-shaped key rings um in all different colors and um lrm have kindly just said as a freebie if you want one you can have one if you're the first 50 if you don't want one that's okay, you don't have to have one, but who doesn't like a freebie? Um, so that is there too. Is there anything else I need to say about the bags apart from I really like the bags? Um, I don't think so, but if you have any questions below, I'll also link the summer drop video for you so you can, I put a lot of information in that as well. So if you want more information, that is there for you. Uh, but yeah, I'm really excited about this. It's been such a nice project to work on this year it's been something lovely to look forward to we actually started working on it this time last year so it's been a really positive focus for me work on these to think about them to think about you about what you want about what i want um yeah i really enjoyed working on this project um so i hope that you enjoy the outcome of it oh my goodness i have seen the time stamp on this video um i've just got such a lot to say to you and uh, i'm gonna crack on like i said i've divided this video into lists i've got um fun work stuff is the bags family thought i should update you on the famalam um darcy and pearl are doing really really well i'm really really enjoying this stage with them i've said before online um to lots of people's opinions I don't love the baby stage. I don't love being pregnant. I don't mind giving birth now that I've had a positive birth experience. Don't love the recovery. And 
I love the baby, but I don't love the baby stage, but I do love the toddler stage and the kid stage. And Pearl really feels like she's transitioning more into kid than toddler. Um, and her whole personality is showing through and she is just sunshine and rainbows. She's energetic, she's feisty, um, but she's so loving and so funny and I'm really enjoying that time with her. And someone else who is really enjoying time with Pearl now is Darcy. I think when I was pregnant, Darcy thought that she was gonna get this like ready-made sibling that was gonna be chatty and ready to play with her. And obviously that's not how it works. But now we're getting to that stage where Pearl can play more with Darcy and they can do things together and they love it. Um, and our life has got a bit easier actually. I found the first half of this year really, really difficult. We had lots of changes going on, um, loads and loads of things were all happening at once and I found myself really getting in, um, in a difficult way mentally, which I'll talk about after I've done this little segment. Um, and now we seem to have found our stride with things a little bit. Pearl is loving preschool, Darcy is loving school still. They both go dancing and I've got myself into a really good routine with like when I take them and like even down to the route that I take to drive there, I've got really confident with that, you know, that driving is not my strong suit, but I've got really good at that route. Um, I know a lot of the people at the dance school because I like to stay there while they dance. I don't drop and go, I sit and stay. Um, so I always have someone to talk to, which is so nice. And Liam also, his shift pattern at work has changed. So his shift pattern is actually more family friendly now, which is really good. Um, so I feel like everything, I don't know if it's got easier when I compare it on paper, like it's not that different or if we've just found our stride with it and like settled into it. Um, but I feel much more settled now and I feel like I have a better quality of family life, but I think that is to do with a change I made in my work life. And the reason I made a change in my work life is because my health uh, really started shouting at me. Um, so I will explain, talk more about that in a minute, but just sticking on the family side of things, um, I often get asked, are you having another baby? When are you having another baby? Uh, and by often, I mean almost daily, I am asked online somewhere when I'm having another baby. And I have come to a decision that I think I am really done with having children. For a while I was toying with it and thinking, do I want one more? Because I'm 36 now, so I was thinking like, if I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it pretty soon. And Liam and I honestly toyed with this for so long but I have really come to a conclusion, well, we both have, that we're really happy with R2. Um, I say that, but I have said that with Darcy when I had her, I was like, well, that's the end. Um, but I feel, people say, you know when you're done. And for a while I was like, oh, but how do they know? How do they know? Just in the last, I'd say, three or four months, I've had this like great peace come over me that I am done. I know that I am done. Um, she says all this next year, imagine if I'm like, oh, <laughs> I'm pregnant. Uh, but no, I feel really, really ready to stop thinking about that and to like just move on to just enjoying us as a family of four. So for those of you that ask that question quite a lot, um, it is a uh, probably not gonna have any more. Feel very at peace with it, it's that knowing. It's weird, people say, you know when you know. Well, I just know, how weird is that? Just checking my notes, thought I had finished the family section, but I've written wedding update here. So the wedding update is the worst <laughs> wedding update ever. And it is, we've done nothing. <laughs> we've been engaged almost two years. I still don't wear my engagement ring. One of the stones in it is loose, like the big main stone is loose. So the claw that is like holding the diamond, the little catchy bits, they, um, like catch on all my clothes, the amount of clothes I have wrecked by like running my hand across by mistake and then it snags. Um, so we're gonna go and get the ring um, sorted out, but we just haven't done it. I feel like when you are parents, there's so many things going on all the time that your stuff doesn't make it to the top of the list. Like taking the girls to a dance competition or taking Pearl to a swimming lesson or a birthday party comes above. <laughs> like fixing my engagement ring. Um, 
I think because Liam and I have both been married before, we don't have that sense of urgency to do it. I remember the first time I was engaged, it was all so exciting. And that's not to take away from this, but it was all so exciting and I couldn't wait to go to wedding fairs and look around venues and um, yeah, it felt like this big, magical, like princessy, exciting adventure. And now this time, I feel like number one, it's not that same princessy adventure. And that's not to be disrespectful to the relationship I have now at all. Liam knows how I feel and he understands. Um, but also, ugh, this sounds really twee and like cringe. I feel like I'm living my dream princessy life now. I have a wonderful relationship, I have children that are healthy and happy and I love and I live in a house that I love and I have a job that I love and I have flipping red heart handbag. Um, so I don't feel like I need to rush into doing anything to cement that because I feel pretty cemented. Um, so I will get my engagement ring sorted soon. Um, I have told Liam I would like to do it before the two year mark because I would like to have a great big engagement party. And then I have seen a venue that I really like. I went to the Hello, um, Hello Inspiration Awards last week and it was at the Corinthia Hotel and they had this beautiful room. And as I was sat there, I was like, this would be a lovely wedding venue. Um, so there's that that I would like to take Liam to see. And also we have discussed potentially having a Disney wedding. I know that sounds a bit like, what? Why would two adults want a Disney wedding? I don't mean a wedding in England with Mickey Mouse coming to it, although he's more than welcome if he wants to. I mean going out to Florida, um, because we got engaged there, it's a really special place to us, and just taking the girls and going and doing it just as a family of four and just having that um, moment together. But I know saying this, my family are gonna see this and be like, what? Um, so we will see, but I think it's time to start thinking about planning a wedding, but I don't know where to start, which is ironic because I have already done this once before and most people aim to only do this once in their lives. Um, but I feel like I don't know where even to start. Someone tell me to start planning a wedding you start with, what do I do? You let me know. <laughs> Speaking of Disney, as you watch this video, I should be in Disney, um, but I don't know if you know, but we are living through weird times, and so that obviously got cancelled because America don't have their borders open until November, so we just missed it by two weeks, but that's okay. We have moved the holiday again, and hopefully we will be going in um, February to Disney. I can't wait for that, uh, but before then, it's Christmas, and OMFG. I am ready. I've already started my Christmas shopping. In fact, just before this video goes live, I'm going to be ordering <laughs> some of the bags for, oh, I can't say who it's for. Tina, if you're watching this, not for you. And definitely not for my sisters. Um, little shameless plug there. They make for nice Christmas gifts, but I've already done the girls' Christmas presents. Liam and I have said we're not doing each other a present this year um, because when we go to America, we'll do something nice for each other there. And I think we're gonna have a quiet Christmas this year. Usually we host, um, but this year it's gonna be a bit quieter. As I'm saying all this about Christmas, I'm just thinking, shall I do a whole video about our Christmas plans and like just put a load of Christmassy stuff in it, like some Christmas wrapping, a Christmas, some like what I've bought people for Christmas and hope that it watch. Sorry about that, my camera just cut out, but I've had a little tidy up here because I realised it was all looking a bit haphazard uh, when I just watched back to see where I'd gotten to. Um, I was saying, shall I do a whole separate Christmassy vibes, Christmas traditions, Christmas Q&A, whatever you want, Christmassy video. I think I would really enjoy that too. Okay, I'm turning the page uh, on my list and I'm on the health page. Um, I'm not going to talk too long about this because I think this could be a whole separate video and I'd be happy to do a whole separate video on it if you would like me to but I want this to be about the bags and about really happy things. Um, this is happy now. Earlier on this year though I started to really not feel well mentally. Um, at first I thought oh you know we've had a pandemic there's lots going on I'm just a bit stressed everybody gets like this everybody feels overwhelmed everybody feels stressed I just need to like buck up and carry on and stop being a bit of a baby about this 
Um, I did all the self-care things. I did bubble baths and saw some friends when we could. This was just as like restrictions were ending. Um, I took a couple of weeks off work thinking perhaps I just need a break. Um, I did all those nice things, you know, that they say to do for self-care, go for a walk, get some fresh air, all of that sort of stuff. And the feeling of overwhelm, and when I say overwhelm, I mean like extreme overwhelm, was not leaving me. Um, again, I'm just kind of just trying to touch on this lightly. It's hard not to really go into it because, you know me, I'm, I'm a sharer. Um, it's a blessing and a curse. <laughs> This got worse and worse to the point where I thought, I don't think self-care is cutting it. Now, I think self-care is great, um, but I think there's a time and a place for it. And sometimes I think you just need more help than a bubble bath, a walk and lunch with a friend. So I started seeing my counsellor again, who I had seen when I was getting divorced. So quite a while ago now. Um, and when I went to see her, I remember going in and just being like, oh, I don't even know where to start. Oh, I took a massive list with me and I was like, oh. um, and for a few weeks, that's what all the sessions were. Just me being like, oh, just letting so much out. Um, and almost like, it was almost like for a long time I've been carrying so many things and all of a sudden I couldn't hold it all. And I would just go and drop it all and work through it. Um, and I thought, naively, a couple of sessions <coughs> and I'll feel a lot better. But actually, as these things sometimes can be, it was a slower road than that. Just, by the way, I'm not crying, it's like that cough really, <laughs> really made my eyes water. Now I look like I'm being really emotional. I'm coming at this from quite a good place. I decided to wait until I felt a lot better before I talked about this. Um, so yeah, I had to do a lot of talking and thinking, but also I had to make some pretty big changes in my life. And one of those was really, really pulling back, thinking about what's important and thinking about what could I let go. I think through the pandemic, we all say, oh, we really focus on what was important. Um, and we did as well. We found, you know, family, friends, all that sort of thing that we all learned through the pandemic. But then as things opened up again, I just picked everything back up again thinking great everything's getting a little bit a uh, little bit easier I'm gonna do that I'm gonna do that I'm gonna do that I love doing things I'm such a doer uh, <laughs> that sounds a bit dodged doesn't it I'm such a doer um, that I think yes I will do that project yes I'd like to do that project yes I'd like to have um, a home account on Instagram I'd like to have a newsletter I'd like to do that ah, and I have all these ideas for things that I'm going to do and I also feel like social media and society in general tells you you've got to keep on growing do more get more have more be more all the time and suddenly I realized I cannot do that I cannot keep going like this I wasn't enjoying doing all the many things I was doing so I sat down with myself and thought right what's really important to me what do i really love what brings a lot of value what do i think is worthwhile and so now i just do those things i just work on projects that i really love um there's some like the home account has been put on pause i really love the home account but i realized that there were things i loved more and i'll probably bring it back back around christmas time when the house looked christmasy um but there were some things that I was just working at for the sake of it. And I think when you really look at things, you can see what's important and what's not, and you can let some things go. And if that means, you know, in relation to my life, that I won't be as successful or as popular or, you know, make as much, then so be it, because I would rather be well I would rather be able to drive my children to their dance lesson and sit and enjoy them dancing rather than thinking, oh, I've got to get this done, got to get this done, oh, quick, got to hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, got to go. I would rather just sit and enjoy my life to as much as you can with obviously still having the responsibility and the things you do have to do than strive to be more and more and more. And something that I have really taken great comfort in is if you had told me 10 years ago that this would be my life, that I would be sat here in this bedroom with like this lovely bag project and my podcast and books and this audience and my children and Liam, I would have cried with joy. I would have been like, that's the life I want. Well, I have it. So I don't know what I was constantly striving for more and more and more of. What I want, I have what I want. I have like, what's that phrase? Like want what you have and have what you want. 
that's not the phrase. <laughs> you know those things I'm trying, like, you know those inspirational things that are like, just enjoy what you have. That's what I'm doing. And I am feeling so much better for it. My heart doesn't race like it used to race. Um, I enjoy a moment a lot more and I actually enjoy the things I work on a lot more. I've had time to enjoy these handbags. I've had time to enjoy that process. I've allowed myself to be in something and be really present rather than to be doing that but thinking, yeah, but what's next? What's bigger? What's better? But just be like, this is it. This is the thing and this is lovely and applying that to everything, not just like bags but also to a day out with my family or a conversation with a friend instead of thinking like what will I talk about next what's she going to talk about next um where should we go what will we'll just be like mm -hmm, and just be there and it's nice and this shouldn't be groundbreaking to anyone but it was groundbreaking to me um which is really silly I should have <laughs> I should have been there a lot sooner but I'm here now um, I'm still actually going to see my lovely counsellor. I see her a little bit less than I did before, but I'm going to carry on with that because uh, I think that that is really valuable to me and my health. Um, so that's mental health, physical health. I actually am trying to lose a little bit of weight at the moment and I feel like that's a real taboo to talk about wanting to lose weight because rightly so, there is a huge emphasis on you are beautiful as you are, you are wonderful as you are. And just before anyone thinks um, anything differently, this is not because I don't feel beautiful as I am or wonderful as I am, it's just that my weight had crept up and crept up and crept up to a point where I thought, oh actually, I don't wanna be this weight. I don't wanna um, come into health problems as I get older. Like. It's not going to be that many years till I'm in my 40s um, and I just think about like family health things that we've had running through um, my genetics, my family tree um, and so I just thought I want to lose a little bit of weight. So I have. Um, I've lost £10 at the moment. Um, I'm not going to ever make this a weight loss channel, like even just saying it sounds silly. Um, but you know, that's just something going on in my life and I'm just eating a little bit better and I just feel my insides feel better for it. I thought I would share that with you. I'm not, I feel nervous sharing that kind of thing with you because I know you open yourself up to a lot of discussion. Like if you say something online, then you should be aware that people are going to have conversation with you. Uh, but I'm not really looking for any advice or support on that. I'm just, just kind of telling you that that's what I'm doing, like mind, body and soul. Um, just making changes and feeling a lot better for them all. Okay, okay, I wanted to share handbags, done that, family, baby, wedding plans, Disney, did I get cut off before then, going to Disney next year, move the holiday, Christmas stuff, mental health, physical health, um, was there anything else? I realised that the whole telling you about my mental health thing, I almost didn't share it because I didn't share at the time when I wasn't feeling good, but I didn't feel in a place where I was able to share that. Um, and sometimes you've just got to do things privately, I think, and even though it's literally my job and my passion and my love to share things online, I think that it is good to have some healthy boundaries. So I hope that no one's annoyed at me for, like, not really taking on that journey. I'm sure you're not. Uh, but yes, well done if you've watched the end of this. If you have, leave the code word. Um, mm -mm, write... I feel wonderful in the comments um, and I'll know what you mean I'll heart your comment and I will leave a link below to these gorgeous little handbags and thank you so much if there is a video you would like to see let me know because I'm feeling a bit more sprightly I'm feeling like my mojo is coming back um, and I would like to be back here a bit more as well all right thanks so much for listening and watching love you all lots bye